Mr. Bull here, and today we're going to learn how to use Canva.com. Now, Canva.com, which you can see over here, is this awesome website that lets you create all kinds of cool graphics. And today you're going to learn how to use it to make a timeline because that is what you're working on. All right. So first thing we go do is we go to Canva.com. So C-A-N-V-A.com. And once we get there, we're going to click the log in button and then you want to log in with your Google account. Now, if you've used Canva before with your school ID, it will come up pretty quickly. Otherwise, you might have to hit a couple of buttons, but it will eventually get you to this page here. And this page is the home page for Canva.com once you've logged in. We want to log in, of course, so that any work we do is saved. Uh, so the first thing you'll do, or the next thing you'll do, is you'll go to here, and since we're doing a timeline, you're going to look for a timeline template. So I'm just going to type in timeline. There it is, timeline infographic. So I'm going to select that, and this will come up here. What we're trying to do today is make a timeline based on the note cards that you're already developing. And as you can see here, Ms. Key has done it already. And this is what hers looks like when she did a timeline about a basketball. So we'll want to do something a little bit similar to this. So I'm going to hide this away and let's talk about what we need to do for this. So I'm going to hide that away and I'm going to go ahead and grab the first template right here, which is the one that she used. Uh, it's easy to change titles up here. So I would just type in bicycle. No problem. You can put your name here, Mr. Bull, or whatever your name happens to be. And then you have four note cards, I believe. One, two, three, uh-oh. We're having a problem here because you have four note cards, but we have three spaces. So we can fix that in a moment. However, up here is where you put the first thing, which might be, let's say the year, for example. Now to zoom in a bit, you can go down here where it says 33% and choose whatever you want, but I'm gonna choose fill, which puts me up here like this. And I'm gonna make this trouble with a big B, huh? B, oh. B-O-L. Here I'll put the year, so I'm going to put 2013, and I think this is the original bike, right there. And if I want to make this smaller, by the way, I can always click that. 2013 original, and here's where I'll put information about the bike. Now, I understand you guys have note cards already, and so you'll just put your note card information in there, right in this spot. Then you'll want to add an image. And to add an image, uh, there are some images built in, but they aren't very good. And I understand that you have already saved a bunch of images. So I'm going to click on Uploads here and upload an image. And then I'm going to go to Bike, which is the image that I saved. And here it is right here. And I can drag that over. So I'm going to go ahead and drag that over. And as you can see, it's way too big. So I'm going to go down here to 151 and change that to like 50% so I can actually see it. And then I'm going to change the size on it. I can put that right here or wherever I want to put it. Uh, or I tell you what, I'm going to delete this information here just by double clicking on it. And I'm going to put my bike over here like that. And so I'd have all my information about the bike here and then I'd have an image of the bike there. Now, Ms. Key, what she did is she had two uh, images here, or two of her note cards here on the middle one, and one up here, and then uh, two pictures for one single uh, note card down there. So in order for us to do that, you may have to change the size of things here. So I'll probably want to make this one here in the middle larger, and I can do that by clicking. See how I clicked on it? Let me zoom in just a little bit. Go to fill here. So I clicked on it. And you can see this little thing will show up here and I can make that larger and smaller. So I'm going to click on this one and make it smaller. And I can click on this one and make it larger. And I might have to move this information down, I think. I'll leave my X's there. Click away. There it is right there. And I can move it down like that. And I can add more information here, including graphics and everything. When you're totally done, then you're going to go up here to download and you can download it as a PNG is probably the best way and share it in whatever way that your teacher wants. Okay. I hope that helps.